Welcome to the Town Creek ATV YouTube channel. Live life off road. What is up? Happy freaking Saturday. It's about damn time we came up on a Saturday because it was a long, long week, boy. I'll tell you why it was an especially long week for me because I have been waiting for parts. Parts for this guy. Okay? Now, um, on Sunday, I went ahead and did the lift kit because there's five or six different videos on the Polaris uh, lift kit um, to do uh, not the 570s or the 850s, just the regular, you know, for uh, the 450, 500, 700, 800. Um, there's plenty of videos on there, so there's no point in me doing it, but I will go ahead and show you what I did just for the hell of it. But what I am excited about, what I've been waiting for is right there. So there was a dude that commented about forward A arms, forward arched A arms uh, on my last video. And I was like, dude, brilliant. So I went ahead and ordered them um, from Super ATV. Massive shout out to Super ATV for getting them here in two days. I went ahead and also ordered bushings for the A arm because they don't come with them. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace the bushings because they were six dollars massive shout out to boss bearings uh, For hooking me up with the bushings for the a arms. So This is what it looks like currently Boom My lord she a big girl golly So very very simple. I got the uh, Above the strut spacer up here. Oh, I also did one more update. I got to show you I gotta show you. I'm super excited about it. Made the whole thing look excellent. So I did that. Uh, above the strut spacer, and then down here, I got the shock spacers. You know, very, very simple, very rudimentary. I don't need to do a video on it. It took me all of 45 minutes with basic hand tools in my shop. Uh, a little bit of try and, trial and error, but you know, if you're doing it right and you don't have trial and error, you ain't doing it right. So, with all that being said and done today, what we're gonna do is put the Super ATV Ford uh, Arch A arms, an inch and a half forward. That should give you more than enough clearance uh, to run the 34s. We're gonna go ahead and put the boss bearing bushings in those A arms. We're gonna lift that big girl up. We're gonna slap the A arms on. I'm gonna take her for a ride. And I am considering putting the rest of the lift kit in the rear just because of how low it sits. It's, it's, it rubs right here, which is not cool. You know, I'm either gonna do the rest of the lift kit and put the axles in a big, big bind, or I'm just gonna cut the plastics. Leaning towards cutting plastics, we'll see. I'll make the decision up later. I don't plan on making this a full-on battle rig, but it might be. I don't know, I don't know. It, 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 it digs like hell in the mud. Uh, I don't know if I'll go run with like the King of the Deep boys or anything like that, but maybe I'll do, you know, the good old boys mud pit or whatever. Um, I do have a Warrior Riser snorkel kit right there, so maybe I'll figure out how to put that in. But without further ado, I'm going to slap the new bushings in these A-arms, get her jacked up, put y'all up, and we'll get them installed. All right, so I got it up, got the wheels off. I'm going to be obviously, it only came with two bushings. I should have thought about that while it was only $6, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, I'm going to be getting the control arms out here, which is very simple. Two bolts in the very end. Obviously, it bolts at the bottom, and it should all but fall out. Now, I'm going to figure out some way to put this thing back on there, which I haven't, I don't know yet, but there's got to be a way. Um, and yeah, so let's, uh, let's go from there. Let's get it figured out. Uh, 
Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Two. Put this back together the way it came out. Don't forget nothing. Put it to the side. I just gotta break two of these bushings out for each one of the new A arms. But that shouldn't be too much of a job. Now, gotta get that guy out of there. Cool if there's a 916 too, that would be just really easy. I'll try and save these uh, powder pens if I can. Oh, I think I have some more, but I don't want to break into them if I don't have to. If I can pull these things out without too much damage. Just like that. Cool. Now let's see. Are you a 916th too? Heck yeah. Yes, you are. Everything 916th on Polaris. Make it nice and comes. Look at that. Pretty much intact. Cool. Now I'll just go grab my grease. Do grease it up. All right, got my grease. So I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to do is clean off this basically I guess your structure pin. I don't know what the term is for it, but it's a structure and it's a pin. So that's what it's going to be. And I'm going to put it off the side. Because there's already grease inside this knuckle here. So I don't have to grease this. Just pop her back in there just like such. Yep. And I'll put some grease on this thing. Lather it on nice and thick because whatever comes off, comes off. I'd rather have more than less. As for when it comes to what I'm gonna be doing, as for Dagon show, I want more than less. Alright, so she's properly greased up now. So I'm gonna take the arm. See that? See that? That's what I wanted. I'll 
grease up the ends a little more. I'll put the excess back in here. Clean my hands. We'll go get it installed. And then I'm going to pretty much wash, rinse, and repeat. I'm not going to make you all sit through that whole thing. Um, and we're going to do it on the other side. So let's get her installed. All right. Back on this side here. Let's go ahead and set this up there. Nice snug fit, which is nice. Put the ball joint in it. Get that nut wherever the hell it went. There we go. Alright, put the castle nut back on it. Get it snugged up for now. One side started. There she goes. All right. Figure out where this is. Cotter pan back in. That's it, we'll move on to the next side. All right, so I got the, this side A-arm is done, bolted up, got the cotter pin put in, got both sides tightened up, torque the specs, but just for shits and giggles, we're gonna do a side-to-side -side comparison of what it looks like difference uh, with the forward arch A-arms versus without. I can already see if this has kicked forward quite a bit, so I'm hoping that it makes all the difference in the world, but let's put a tire on it and find out. see what it looks like as it comes down. Yep, I got pretty I might have to trim that corner a bit, but I'm pretty happy about that. And there again it's not it's not all the way on, on the ground. So uh We'll see, we'll see when I get that other tire on there if it levels out. So, go ahead and I'm gonna put the camera on the other side too, just in case I miss up on this side, so uh, y'all can see what I'm doing. So let's get it done.
Please don't make me cut you. <laughs> it hurt me that time. All I had to do was ask it nicely. Now I gotta get that bushing out. Let's see, get this arm out. Off to the side. Of course you fall. Now I gotta take my screwdriver and try to beat this bushing out of here. There she goes. Out again. So I'm gonna go do the same thing and put it back in. Alright, got my eight arm set up. Do it again. So, those of you at home saying, oh my gosh, you're going to ruin your ball joints, you're going to ruin your axles, you're going to do this. I know, I know, that's kind of the point. No one ever builds a battle rig, you know, a friggin' bounty hole rig, and says, nah, I'll never break it. It's fine. Everything breaks. That's what there's designed to do. They're built to break, so when you fix them later, you fix them up better. Better parts. Et cetera, et cetera. Just gotta tighten up this one damn ball joint. We'll be on the road. Considerably better than before. Still getting hung up right there at the very end. But anyway, guys, that was kind of a crazy video. Worked out about as well as I could have hoped for. Um, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing. That's my first time ever installing forward arched A arms. I'm going to edit the ever living hell of this video, try to make it better, but. That's it, so for now the Polaris is done. We'll see what else I come up with and want to screw with, but uh, yeah, anyway, it's Saturday, drink some beer, join me, peace.